Hi everyone, it's Neil here from ECS Coffee along with my great friend, Hello. Wendy. And what are we doing today? Uh, today we're going to unbox and then also later on do a review on the new Barista Express Impress. Say that three times fast. Barista no. Express, Express Impress. Impress. I don't know why they can't come up with another name, but I think this is, well I know this machine is sort of between a hybrid between the Barista Express, which has been around since 2009, and then you get up to the Barista uh, Pro and Touch. Um, and Oracle, which have some really cool features, and they were kind of looking to do something in the middle. I think this will eventually replace the Burst Express, but no one's told me that. That's my theory. So, just an unboxing, see what comes in the box. Then we can talk about it in a separate review. Ooh, fancy. I know. Oh, look at that. So, we got our porter filter. got it all. Uh, fancy schmancy, just like every other one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, what the porter filter handle comes with uh, normally is one of the two cups, then they pop. It says, I'm not missing, look yeah. for me in the porta filter. So that's the one that goes here. It's a double shot that's not pressurized. Then there's the pressurized baskets and then two singles, one pressurized and okay. one non-pressurized. Makes sense. Making sure people don't think they're missing something. Very smart. And we got the razor, which is uh, the razor, which is to clean the top of your porta filter. Yeah, so when let's you, let's just say uh, you control. haven't dosed properly. It'll just take off a little bit of the top so that you can get it onto the machine. I, I gotta, gotta get it out. That's, that's what that is, right there. Now twist, twist the thing around to clean up the top of your, your porta filter when you have coffee in it. Um, and that goes in there. What do you have over there? Cleaning kit. So, rubber gasket for back flushing. We can explain that later. It's to clean the screen where your espresso comes out. It's a little tool to remove the screen. A couple of descaling tablets. Um, a brush to clean around, um, so where your porta filter goes in, to clean around the gasket where your cleats go, and also to clean uh, the milk tube in case you forget to purge it properly. You can always poke it and get everything going again. Perfect, lots of stuff. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna try and pull this out together. We are. All right. Ready? All in together. All right. Without breaking styrofoam, let's see if we can do it. Yeah, we don't want to make a mess. Excellent. Yeah. I'm gonna put the box over here, out of the way. Let's, let's make sure we do this with this power. So, so this part's at the bottom. This is the top. Mm-hmm. The top. So the top is on this little thing here. For those for those that are trying to repack and using this video for repacking purposes. Mm -hmm. And oh, whoop that up. It's, it's taped. Oh, it's taped. Wait. Cord is taped. Cord is taped. With a big piece of tape. All right. Let's go back to the gym. <laughs> so, All right. the frothing pitcher was in there. Okay. And, and then, then we've got our the hopper. Hopper on top. Mm -hmm. Okay. Frothing pitcher comes with the machine. Don't have to buy one. Instruction manual. Instruction manual. Please read. Oh, fancy. I like Breville. They're very, they're very solid units. Very solid machine. And there's the plugs. All right, throw that in there. Okay, and then we've got our drip tray. Mm -hmm. and this. this is the machine we're going to be using for the upcoming review. Right. So we have to, we'll uh, rinse it all out, which you should do before using any machine. So then all we'll need is uh, some nice beans, non oily, and some water. Yeah. We'll be good to go. I like it. It's a uh, metal. Metal drip tray, not plastic. Some of the companies in the last few years have gone kind of cheap on that. Mm -hmm. um, Breville has not. They also always include a little tray that hides behind and you can put all your additional baskets into there so that you don't have to go hunting around for them when you need them at home. Right. Right, yeah. like I do all the time. <laughs> Wendy has every version of the Breville I machine, do. I think. Yeah, <laughs> multiple. this guy in. Twist them up, right? You gotta line this up, don't you? Yep. No, you know how to do it. I can't see. I need new contacts. She just smart. She's recognized her agent's already wearing glasses. Well, not all the time. Okay, fair <laughs> Wendy from the future here, there is also this in the water tank. It's your filter, and you should only leave uh, charcoal filters in your water tank, maximum three months. All right, so we're going to do a review of this, but tell you very quickly what this machine is about. You'll notice versus a traditional Burst Express. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna grab one and put it beside it so you can kind of see this. Okay, versus the traditional Barista Express, 
This is the Barista Express Impress. You can see it's slightly taller. Mm -hmm. I, it's slightly wider by the looks of it. Um, and you notice the big difference is in here and the control panel. We're gonna talk about that in the review, but what Breville has done seems in the last couple of years, other manufacturers have upped their game in this market. DeLonghi's come out with a machine that had some really neat uh, features. They had a tamping Tamper. arm. It looks like we've got something similar here on the Breville, um, but I think they've taken it a step further inside with this little mechanism here. We'll talk about that in the review, mm -hmm. but that is what comes with the machine. Uh, these are now available at ECS Coffee in Burlington or Ancaster online in Canada. Um, the Barista Express Impress. Press. <laughs> so look out for our upcoming review, and uh, we'll see you next time. Take care. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.